What is up, everybody? Chris with SDJ here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Uh, today and for the next while, all right, we're going to be mixing in the Million Dollar Challenge from Buckeye Slim over at the 300 Plus Club. So shout out to you, Buckeye, for coming up with this challenge. Uh, we're going to be doing the whole duration of the challenge. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a picture up what the goals look like right now. And uh, this is going to be month one, all right? I may do it in one video. I may take a while. My goal is going to be to win $100 three times, basically. The second time I can win 75 or maybe one time I'll cut it off and win 75 But we're going to buy them for 300 and we're going to try to win $275 within the month. You could be doing this over 30 days. You could be doing it over 10 days. You could really do it over however you want, all right? But um, if you guys haven't seen uh, the video that Buckeye put out on the challenge, I will link it down below. It will be the second link because the first link down below is Buckeye's channel, 300 Plus Club. All right, go check it out. So uh, we're going to be doing this. John from Pro Craps has been doing it on his coffee and crap sessions now for a while and uh, has been doing pretty well. And what I'm going to be doing with this is since it's a million dollar challenge throughout the year, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a mix of pre-recorded videos and live videos for the challenge. Um, the earlier stuff I'll probably do pre-recorded, maybe some live. Um, and then as we get further and further along, hopefully we do, then I will make it, uh, more live and stuff. All right. So for the pre-recorded stuff, I'm not going to set the dice. I'm just going to toss them randomly and hope for the best. Um, maybe live I'll mix in some setting and some other stuff. All right. But we're trying to win $275 in the first month. So here we go. We got $300. All right, let's count it out. And, um, you know, you can play whatever strategy you want uh, for this challenge. You're assuming a $10 table in the rules Buckeye set up. So you can really do whatever you want. And uh, true to myself, I'm going to be doing a little Jacob from Wager Me This. All right, we're going to go with a six, seven, eight to start. So I'm going to start with a quarter on the don't. Here we go. And just like that, you got a 617, of course, you know, that's how it works sometimes. 6-1, all right, and this is this is what happens when you play don't. We're going to rebuy this, all right, for a quarter, and here we go. We're going to hope for the best. Now, if you're keeping track, we're already down a quarter. We're down quarters, not easy with uh, 10 bucks or with a $300 bankroll, and just like that, we're going to be down $50, all right? Now, at this point, typically, I'd be done playing the don't, but... I'm gonna go DJ in here and we're gonna keep doing it. All right. So now we're just asking for punishment. That's what it is. This is gambling for you. And just like that, we got another 437. Another 437. Okay. That's three come outs in a row. Three come outs in a row. Well, here we go. Let's burn some more cash. All right. Guys, I don't advise doing this. I typically stop after the second hit that I take, but here we go. And uh, we got a 628, okay? Not the ideal number that you want to be uh, playing up against, but at least it's not a seven, right? All right, here we go. So eight's our point, right? We're going to get a $10 nine and a $12 six. And let's see what happens. Our rack is looking sparse, I can tell you that. Here we go. And we got a hard 10, does nothing for us. The Old Bay Bushel. It's Craig from Old Bay Craps. Yo, yo Levine. She's not dancing for me. Don't have anything going on that. Uh, Ace Deuce. All right, so we're just going to be very field heavy. I was debating whether I should play like a 678, maybe a little field feeder. Um, I was hoping the 678 would come out and work for me, but uh, all right, so here's got a 617. Okay, so oh man, we're going to lose these bets here. We're going to net profit on just that portion of the hand, a full three dollars. So, woohoo, we lost three don'ts though. When you get paid in our don't here, we'll put this back in the rack. All right, and we're gonna run this again. So, thought maybe this could be one video, could be a billion. Who knows? At this point, I may be restarting a challenge. And we got a three, two, five. All right, that's our first point. A three, two, five. Okay, so our don'ts on the five. We're gonna drop the dealer. 
I'm gonna drop this quarter out, all right? And uh, it's gonna be $24 on the six and the eight combined, $12 on the six and eight. And um, how I'm gonna play this is, especially since I'm down now, I'm gonna get a little more aggressive with the pressing on the six and the eight, dollar change back to me. All right, I'm gonna try to get a little more aggressive if I can. I don't know if I will be able to. We'll see what happens. And uh, we got a five one six. All right, so five one. All right, uh, that's gonna pay us fifteen for a dollar. Okay, it's gonna pay you fourteen, fifteen for a buck. All right, what I'm gonna do is now we have twenty seven dollars here. I'm gonna drop three dollars and take it to thirty. All right, so I'm gonna take the two back. Drop $3, it's gonna go to 30. And I have to check what my dog is doing. One second. I heard her chewing on something and I knew she wasn't supposed to be chewing on that. It's okay. All right, here we go. So we got a $30 six, $12 eight. And aces does nothing for us. Does nothing for us. And there's the 527. So what do we get out of that? Absolute jack squat. We actually lost money on that. All right, why? Well, because we got tried to get aggressive and we tried to press up our, um, tried to press up our six a little bit higher and uh, we got bit. All right, so we're gonna run this some more. Here we go, coming out. And we got an ace deuce. Okay, we like that. Why? Well, because we get paid in our don't, all right? So that's a quarter. Some people would say stack it. I'm gonna rack it. Especially being down like that, we're gonna rack it. People are saying you should have pressed it. Yeah, yeah. Hindsight's 2020. All right, hindsight is 2020. There's another ace due, so we're gonna get another quarter back. All right, so now we wiped out two of those three come out seven losses. So turning towards the right direction, hopefully. Five, three, eight. All right, that'll be our point. And uh, I'm not saying that I'm gonna play the six, seven, eight the whole time. I probably, I definitely won't be playing the six, seven, eight the whole time. Uh, I'm just playing it right now because that's one of my go-to strats um, with a relatively low buy-in like this. Um, it's either that or it's like a six, eight trying to spread out after that. So. Um, which one will work better? I don't know. I can analyze the rolls afterwards and tell you which one would have worked better. Um, but this is one of my go-to strats when I have like 300 bucks and I'm trying to buy in and play on a $10 table. All right, and just like that, you got a four three. All right, so um, that one there, not great for us, not bad though, right? You're gonna lose up here. And what I'm doing is I'm just paying myself in red. All right, so we, again, we net profit a couple bucks, um, obviously. The come out ace deuces there helped. Just trying to replenish the reds. And um, every once in a while, I'll look at my rack to see where I'm at so I know and I'll count it out for you and tell you where we are. All right, we got another eight, five, three. So that'll be our point yet again. All right, we're doing the same thing. Six and nine. Because we can't grab the eight since we have the don't against the eight. Here we go. And there's a 617. All right, so the play on the 678 right now is helping us for the sole purpose that that don't is protecting those bets up there, right? If we didn't have that don't out there, we'd be losing and we'd be getting beat on those quick early sevens. So um, I'll do this one again. Um, there's a seven on the come out. I was going to count my rack. I'll count it after this one. All right, so there's a come out seven. So we're going to lose the quarter here on the don't. Got to replace it. There's another one. See, the dice they give you and then they take. This is why sometimes sitting in the casino for a long period of time, not saying that this is a long period of time, but dice will come back around, right? So we had a couple nice wins there. Now two straight losses on the don't. So now we're still down three resolutions on the don't. Here, we'll get one back with the aces. All right, so we get paid a quarter there. We'll put that in the rack. And there's a six, four, 10. All right, so generally a good point um, for the don't. Some people will say you should be putting odds on this. I get it, uh, but with $300, I'm 
on a bankroll, not looking to put odds on really anything, if I'm honest with you, for the sole purpose that um, you don't have enough funding to cover that. All right, there's my dollar change for the quarter I dropped, and here we go. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Would love some light side hits here, honestly. There we go, 516, all right, because I don't really want to win on the don't because the winning on the don't here and going out early is really a push for me at best, right? I want to get some hits on the sixes and eights. That's what I'm looking for, right? The don't there is protection more than anything. It's not actually to win on because in this case, if a seven came, I'd be winning a dollar, right? What's a dollar going to do for me? Nothing. All right, 15 for one, right? So that will go to the bank. We got 15 bucks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the dealer to press it to 30. So I'm going to have to drop that there and now we've got a $30 six hopefully we can get another hit on it we'll see there it is for two all right so 30 is going to pay 35 all right i'm going to rack this one all right there's 35 we're going to rack this one Six five yo and does nothing for us. Oh, I forgot to enter a six. There was another six in there. It was back to back. Now the six five. All right. And there's a hard eight. All right. So this is slightly better, right? This is what we're looking for. We want the hits actually. Uh, I'm gonna pay myself fourteen dollars. Okay. So fourteen. I got twelve out there. Twenty six. I need four more dollars. I'll drop this, take a dollar back to the rack. All right, and now there's gonna be a $30 eight. Yes, I know it's not cleaned up. I don't really care. Somebody commented on my dealing the other day in a video. Like, pissed in your cereal this morning. Um, all right, there's the five two. So, had some opportunity there, all right, because these bets were pressed up. However, we did collect at the pressed up level once. Um, so we'll take it, all right quarter for our line bet we'll turn the puck off and i'm going to count the rack real quick um because we're 27 rolls in right now let's see where we are in the rack i believe i'm down slightly um i don't think it's a lot but maybe it's a little bit more than i thought it was all right there's a hundred Yeah, we're not down that bad. Um, so there's 375 here, 380, 384, or sorry, 284. So we're down like 16 bucks. I didn't think we were down too bad. Um, so down, but we're treading water. All right, that's what you're going to do with the 678. Even though you saw we got beat early quickly there three times in a row with that come out seven, right? I mean, this is a pretty resilient strategy. If you've played it long enough, you know how resilient it can be. So hopefully the tides will turn in our favor here and uh, we can get some, some profit here, hopefully, right? Because that's our goal. $275 worth of profit. That's what we want. All right, so we're going to need a six and a nine. And uh, five, three is our point. Here we go. And there's a 617 right away, just like that. I don't love that, obviously. Um, again, this is why I'm playing this way. So you have some protection. We haven't gotten many hits on points yet, um, which is fine. Um, good for us, right, because we're on the don't. But obviously, you're going to get your point hit. We've been getting hit with the come out sevens, which have been costing us basically the same thing. All right, we've got a... Puppy Paws or the Old Bay Bushel, hard 10. All right, so we'll mark up the 10. Again, we're going to drop 24 to the dealer, or 25, ask him for a $12, 6 and 8. And this is a grind, right? I mean, we're not sitting here looking for a home run right away, a dollar back to us for change. Um, that's why I said it could be done in this video. It may take me 10 videos to do it. Who knows? Who knows? And we got a 426. All right, four, two, six, we like that. All right, so it's gonna pay us $14. I'm gonna do 15 for one, right? And um, 
I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna drop $3, but I don't have it, so I'm gonna take the two off the cap. And there's 30, we'll press our six up. Hopefully we can get a hit there. You could also do a press and then regress on the collect. A lot of different ways you could play it. Again, I'm not gonna tell you how to play. Uh, four, two, six, lovely. Back to back, all right, so that's gonna pay us 35. We're gonna rack that. And there's a five, four, nine, does nothing for us. Okay. Five, three, eight, very nice. All right, so it's gonna pay us another 15 for one, 15 for a dollar, okay. And we're gonna drop three and take it to 30. Now again, you got 120, or sorry, you got 60 out here, 85. You could pull that all back to your rack if you wanted to. I'm not going to, but you could. Um, six, two, eight, right back. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so the six, two is gonna pay us 35, right? Again, you wanna regress at this point, go for it, right? Easy to just pull that back down to tail minimum, or you could go to like $18 on the six and eight. Um, you can really do whatever you want. Again, when I play the six, seven, eight, I'm really looking for the light side wins on those sixes and eights, so I'm trying to press those. Um, the don't is only out there really for protection more than anything, like I've said a couple times, all right? So, ace deuce does nothing for us. Love a couple more hits on the six and eight. Um, and the dice say, D-Gen, we will comply. There's an eight. All right, here you're at a point where do you collect, do you press? You could keep collecting because you're, you know, have a relatively low bankroll. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this to 42. All right, it's not a major press, but it's gonna go to 42. So I'm collecting 50 for one next hit and taking $23 back to the rack. And there's a 617. So, got some nice hits there on the sixes and eights, right? Uh, ultimately, didn't get super high payouts, but this is why I don't like to play super aggressive with a small bankroll because if you do that, you're asking for trouble more often than not, all right? So rack that, 38 rolls in, here we go. And we got a six, four, 10 again, all right? So we're on the point of 10. Again, if you wanna add odds and stuff to your don't, that's totally up to you. Uh, we're gonna drop a quarter, ask for $12, six and eight. Dollar change, not two dollars change. And here we go. Get that point marked up, six, four. Three, one, four, that's the first one of those of the day. Goes not the fours. And there's the 10, all right? So here you go, I think this is our first point getting hit, right? So we're gonna lose our don't. You're gonna have to go back out there for that don't. And we got an ace due, so we're gonna get it back. All right, it's gonna pay us a quarter, two, one. All right, we'll rack that. No harm, no foul, we like that, it pays us actually. Makes up for the don't we just lost with that front line winner. And we got another 10, another six, four, 10. All right, we're set up, we're ready to go. Our sixes and eights are working, here we go. And we got a six, three, nine, does nothing for us. And there's a six, four, 10. All right, so that's uh, four tens in this hand. Yes, two of them have been come out rolls. We're gonna replace our don't. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to enter that 10 after. So it was a six, four, then a six, three, and then a six, four right back. Um, and then now we have a six one seven, which is going to take our don't again. We'll replace it. I'm replacing it for the sole purpose that since I'm doing this challenge, um, I'm going to replace it. Normally I would only get beat twice and then I'd stop playing the don't. I should probably do that as a good practice, but we're going to hug the point. So we're going to grab the five. Here we go. 
And there's a 549. Doesn't do anything for us. Aces does nothing for us. There's a hard eight. All right, we we'll like that because the hard eight will pay us. All right, it's going to pay us 15 for a dollar again. All right, 15 for a buck. We're going to drop three and take it to 30. Here we go. 50 rolls in. Five, four, nine. Nothing for us. There's a four, two, six. All right, so that's a front line winner. All right, so we're gonna lose our don't. I'm not going back out on the don't. All right, I said I wasn't. I'm just, I don't feel like going back on the don't. All right, it is what it is. Um, so there's a four, two, now a three, two. Right, so that's gonna be our point. I'm gonna move this over to the six and drop two bucks again. Now I'm just playing the six and eight, right? I got beat enough on the don't. Not going back out there again. And there's an eight, it's a six, two. The six is up in the corner there leaning. You can see it, it comes down, there's the two. All right, six, two. So that's gonna pay us 35, all right? Do what you want, I'm gonna rack it. And hopefully we can uh, survive this session and get just a, a little bit of profit even, we'll take it, right? Uh, there's aces, does nothing for us. Back-to-back -back aces, and there's sometimes you also have to remember, right? Sometimes you're not you're not always going to have winning sessions, right? You're going to have losing sessions. If you think you're only going to have winning sessions, you're out of your damn mind, all right? But sometimes coming back from some of these losing sessions and getting back to even or slightly ahead is a win in and of itself, all right? That's better than leaving and just being felted, losing all 300, all right? So there's the 5-2, of course. Oh, I entered a hard 10. There's a 5-2. All right, so... I'm gonna lose these, all right? And um, bankroll wise, we're still down a little bit. Again, not a ton, but still down a little bit. Give us a couple more runs, a couple more shooters, and we'll see what happens here. Uh, we got a four, two, six is our next point, all right? And if I can get up just a little bit in this video, um, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stop there and call it a day because um, I'm not a glutton for punishment, all right? I've been at the casino many, many times and long enough to know that sometimes it's better to just get out of there with your pants still on rather than leaving with your pants off, okay? All right, nobody wants to see a wild DJ running naked out of the casino. That would be absolutely horrific for everybody. Hard four, little two, two, nothing for us. And ace deuce, again, nothing for us. And you know, in this first month, right, I may not play the six, seven, eight the whole time. I may switch it up. I may play something different. It just depends. There's a yo. Right, the thing is, hindsight's 2020, 20, right? You can sit here and you can judge the rolls after the fact that I would have played this. Well, shit, yeah, I would have played a parlay in the field on the last three rolls right there and made my $300. I would have skipped out on the other 58 rolls and played $100, 100 parlayed it for 200 bang, there you go, I'm out of the casino. 6-5, yo. There's a hard eight, all right, so it's gonna pay us 15 for a buck, right? Dollar out of our rack, there's 15, there's the dollar, all right? And we're gonna drop three more and take it to 30. Oop. Not eight more, three more. And there's a 617. So, didn't do anything good there. Let's see where we are rack wise. All right, I'm gonna, oh, I entered an eight. It's a 6-1. All right, so we'll turn this off. We'll get paid in reds here, um, just because. And let's see where we are rack wise. Again, I think we're down slightly. All 
All right, there's 200. My fumble fingers are not working right now. There's 200. Actually, feeling that we might be, we're gonna be just about dead on, maybe a little bit up. Oh, we're a touch up. Yep, I knew it, five bucks. All right, so we are $5 up, right? So we've had 64 rolls, we're five bucks up at the minute. So we have 305 in the rack. I said it was gonna be my, be my last shooter. See, this is why, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it to prove a point. Hopefully I don't prove the point that I think I'm gonna prove, but sometimes it's better to get the hell out when you're up, like I said, right? But this is a learning experience for everybody. So I'm gonna show you what happens sometimes. Hopefully, hopefully I don't, praying I don't, show you what happens when you decide to not do what you said you were gonna do, right? You had the plan, we'll see. I thought that was a six one, I really did. All right, 415, okay? Let's see if we can get this not to be, um, let's see if we can just make a couple extra bucks, right? Just a couple extra bucks. Nothing crazy here, but this usually ends poorly. And I'll see if I can demonstrate it. If not, I'll be a happy boy. If I do demonstrate it well, you can all comment, DJ, you're an idiot. I'm um, sorry, I forgot to mark the uh, five. So it was a four one and now a six five. Hard four does nothing. Six two eight. Okay, we'll take that. All right, six two. So again, it's gonna pay us fifteen for a dollar. All right, there's fifteen for a dollar, and um, I'm gonna drop a nickel. Take the cap off. Thirty dollar eight. Another hard four. And there's the four, three, seven. So now instead of being up five bucks, we're actually, we're up a couple bucks. We're not up a lot. Because we had to drop another three. When we're down, we're up like three bucks at this point. All right, I'm gonna go one more. Just one more. Yep, I said I was gonna go one more, didn't I? Here you go. I'm gonna prove my own point why you don't do that. There's a six one, now a five two. Oh yes, here we go. Five, four, nine. All right, that's our point. Now, again, we're down now, right? We're not up anymore, we're down. Not a lot, but we're still down. All right, we'll drop a quarter. Get our six and eight. And this will be the final shooter regardless of what happens uh dollar change to us um because i don't want to make the video super long and uh there's going to be obviously multiple videos of month one because uh can't do anything here hopefully i don't end up down super bad we'll see all right we got a six two eight okay again 15 for one all right 15 for a buck add this take the cat throw a nickel down now we got a $30 eight. Here we go. Here we go with the six. All right, so it's good and bad, right? Because we're gonna get paid another 15 for one, right? 15 for a buck. Take this to 30, we'll drop three since we have it. All right, but now we need a hit on those, right? We need the hit. And we got a hard 10. This one came all the way back to me. It was a hard 10. Take my word for it. The old bed bushel. Six two eight, lovely. All right, we'll get our hit there. We'll take the payment on the first one, right? Thirty five, back to the rack. Six four ten, doesn't matter. There's a five, three, eight. All right, that is nice. All right, the five, three. So that's gonna pay us another 35. Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to 42. All right, so I'm gonna take that and leave that out. I'm gonna take the rest of this back to the rack, right? I need to break up 
this chip here for five whites, right? That's going to the bank. Two dollars here, three back to my rack. Maybe this will be the one. And we got another hard 10, all right? The other option you can do here, okay? There's another option here. You could just stop playing if you wanted to. You got 42, 30, and 25, okay? 72, 97 bucks out there right now, right? You could add that to this rack and you'd be ahead in profit. So, that's what I'm gonna do, all right? You may be saying, DGen, you're dumb. I don't care, okay? I really don't care. I can pull all these bets down. All right, I'm gonna add them to my rack right now. All right, and I'll roll the rest of the shooter out for you, just so you guys can see. All right, to me, it doesn't matter. Why? Because I pulled my money off the table, I'm done. There's a 516, would've got paid, right? Would've gotten paid. Then that would've been a full collect on the 35. There's a midnight, wouldn't have been anything. And there's the seven. Now, do I look like a genius or what? Do I look like a genius or what? Why? You would have got paid 35 bucks, but you would have left the 72 out there still. Yes, you would have got paid down here, but you still would have been losing money in that proposition because you would have got 35 and 25 is 60. You would have lost the 72 up top. You're not actually getting paid as much as you thought you were getting paid now, right? All right, so there's the 5-2, and let's count this up. Okay, you can see a lot of reds now, which is actually quite nice to see. Okay, and let's see where we are. All right, there's 100. Leave that over there. There's another 100. Okay, 25. 50. 65, 75, 375. So we made $75 today after getting hit three times in a row right away. $75 up, which means that now we need to win $200 more. All right, so next time I start this challenge, right, I have 375 total in the rack. I need to buy in for 300, and now I, I need $200 more to win. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to be doing this again. Some are going to be recorded. Some will be live. Um, maybe I'll have some guest shooters on to shoot for me and I'll bet based on their roles. If you want to see that, let me know down in the comments, but um, we're going to be running this. Hopefully you guys found some value in there. Um, I hope you did. All right. You can learn from some of it. If you think it's dumb, well, you just, you know, reconstituted the fact that you think it's dumb. I don't really care. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget you all have a little DJ in you and I will see you very, very soon. Peace.